I've always been kind of uh, on the innovative side and enjoyed tinkering and building things and learning how things work. I have helped numerous surgeons and doctors uh, solve their problems uh, with our engineering skills. And as a result, uh, I've got nine patents uh, that are issued for various medical devices. Right now in our active inventory, we have about 40,000 assets. That's equipment that we are uh, in charge of maintaining. I've seen a lot of medical devices in my 35 years here, and I hate waste. I hate throwing money down the drain when it's avoidable. The landscape for infection control is changing rapidly, and the cleaning products are also changing rapidly, and they really need to be looking at cleanability when they design these medical devices. When we first started seeing this kind of like plastic cracking problem, we weren't really sure exactly what was going on. So I developed my own test process where we took actual pieces of plastic sawed out of the pump housings, and then I exposed them to the various dozen different cleaning products that we had in the house, and I observed them. Over a bunch of tests, I was able to determine like, okay, certain combinations of cleaners and plastic formulations were not compatible and just self-destructed in a very short period of time. Some of the plastics are so susceptible to certain cleaners that you could clean it one time and it would be completely destroyed in less than 24 hours. I mean, some of these things would disintegrate in like an hour. What happens is after these disinfectants uh, react with the materials, now the impact strength of that plastic is like 10% of what it was when it was new. You know, normal handling will break the thing uh, where you should actually have to run over it with a bus to break it. And I think it's uh, an under-recognized problem in general. People see broken stuff, they, oh, they dropped it. They don't connect the cleaning products with the breakage. So when all this equipment starts breaking from the disinfectant damage, it's taking us away from our real job, which is, you know, to help care for patients, perform preventive maintenance, you know, discover new things, curing cancer, all that stuff has to take a back seat to fixing these mundane infusion pumps that we have to have to care for our patients. If we use the right materials and, and the right uh, cleaners that we would be able to eliminate a large portion of that problem. Since 2004, it, it, it has been a long, frustrating battle uh, with all the people involved, our, our infection control people, the manufacturers, the cleaning products. There's just so much improvement that can still be made.